Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you for joining me again for another edition of my grey hair transition check-in. We are now at month number 16. If this is the first time you've seen me, go to my page. I have all of my videos linked. I have a check-in every single month. I think I started on month three when you could actually start to see the greys come through. So if you're growing your hair out, if you're thinking about growing out your greys and this is something you're interested in, please subscribe to my channel, hit the notification bell. I post videos once a week, but I do my grey hair grow out once a month and I put some of the hair videos and stuff in there. So come on, join me for some fun grey hair discussions. So without further ado, guys, let's get into the video. 16 months. It's gone quick. I mean, I don't really know what to say. Um, so this month, basically in this month, I've started going back to the gym and I've been going to the gym four times a week ish. And um, because of that, I've been washing my hair a lot more and I've noticed some things about gray hair and sweat. So when you go to the gym, you sweat. It's just a fact of life. You should be, otherwise you're not doing it right. So I go to the gym and I do quite a bit of cardio. I do like half an hour cardio, 40 minutes weights, and then I'm done. I come home, I shower, wash my hair every time. But my hair was looking a little bit dull, even when I'd washed it. And I was like, what on earth? So I've had to step up how frequently I use my purple shampoo and conditioner. So I use my purple shampoo and my purple mask this morning. So my greys are really nice and bright for the video. Um, but I've had to do it now every two to three washes, which before I was using the purple shampoo probably once every week or so. So that's interesting. My hair was looking quite dull and quite yellowy and I was a bit like a bit brown. I was like, what's going on? That's what's going on. So um, new products I've been loving this month. So I have not new, but stuff that I've been using this month. So I'm still loving this instant volume full of life VO5 powder. Um, I haven't put it in today because I wanted to show you how I use it on camera. So basically you just lift off the little lid there and it just comes like a little hole there. And I just basically tap it onto my head like so, get a bit of coverage there and then just rub it into the roots and underneath, do a bit of that. Which makes my hair look fuller. Absolutely love it. Not a massive difference, but it holds throughout the day. You can put it underneath if you want to, you can add more. I don't put too much because it does make your hair feel quite gritty and a little bit sort of dirty, but as I'm washing it much more, I don't mind as much. But yeah, I think it just gives it a nice bit of body and a bit of volume. Next up, we have the Philip Kingsley Pure Color Conditions and Adds Reflective Shine Frizz Fighting Gloss. Now, I didn't buy this on its own. It came in the Philip Kingsley Today Special Value that I got day before yesterday. And um, I've used this only a couple of times. It's so good, I had to mention it. And it basically says, um, apply a small amount through towel dried hair. On my hair length, I did half a pump because my hair's quite fine. So anything that has gloss in the title tends to make my hair quite greasy. Um, Focusing on the mid length and ends and blow dry in can be left to air dry, add more as required, can also be applied to dry hair. And uh, I really like it. My hair looks really healthy, it looks really shiny. I just feel like this is an extra little step that's quite nice after blow drying. So I really enjoyed that. And I'm still going in again with my hair growth activation treatment, which has got hair in it, that's beautiful. Um, and this is the leave-in conditioner. I spray it into my roots, I spray it along the hairline and underneath and then rub it into my scalp. And I do that every time I wash my hair, I've been doing it at the moment, I'm nearly at the end. I'd bought three of these in a three for two, and it's by Lee Stafford. Um, I feel like it does kind of work. I mean, my hair, I don't know if you can tell the difference from last month, but it feels like it's grown quite a bit. Um, and I'm getting it trimmed again in four weeks time. So really excited, I'm loving this. So those are the products I've been using on my hair this month. So now let me get into the spin and show you how the greys are doing. Thank you. 
So guys, that's it. It's gonna be quite a quick check-in because I haven't got anything to say. My hair's just growing, it's just doing its thing. It looks um, much brighter today because I've just used my purple shampoo, my purple conditioner, and um, I'm just getting on with life and enjoying my hair. I just feel like now, um, I haven't got anything to say about it. It's just this kind of now who I am. I've got my makeup sorted out with it. I know the kind of colors that I can go for. The weather's so rubbish here in the UK. Look, I'm wearing a jumper. It's summer. I've even got my Christmas makeup on. I've got green eyes and red lips. I mean, it's a joke. This weather is ridiculous. But, um, you know, I'm just, I'm just living this kind of look. And nobody really says anything about it anymore because it's just kind of who i am now and i'm still loving it like my hair has never been healthier it looks really good i just love the pattern and the pattern does change a little bit the brightness changes i'm just constantly finding new things with my hair and um, every day is just every time i wash it it's like a different look which i really like the one thing i always had with my hair was that i got really bored really quickly i would either chop it off color it um add a fringe do whatever literally every four to five months i was changing something and because my hair now is just so nice i don't want to change anything so i'm happy with it so if you're considering trying this transition of course there are going to be some difficult periods of course it's going to be tough but like i said last month month 15 for me was kind of the sweet spot where it just looks good like it just looks like you're you're grown out your hair and obviously i did go for a chop when i chopped my hair it was here i cut it to here and now it's just kind of grown down but now because I have cut my sort of sweeping fringe in, this bit that's completely, almost completely grey, blends into the rest. So it just kind of looks like it's done. So I don't feel like I'm transitioning anymore. Although I still have some dyed ends, that's fine. I can cope with that. Like I said, I have my next trim in about three and a half weeks time. So I'm really excited for that. I'm just going to go for a trim. I'm not going to go for a chop. I'll say at this point, I'm happy with how my hair looks. So I'm not going to chop off more than I really want to. I like my hair this length. I ideally want to get it back to where it was this time last year when I did go for the big chop, which was, it was kind of here. So maybe another three or four months and we'll be there. So yeah, I really hope you enjoyed this video guys. Thank you for following my journey and I will see you in the next video. Take care guys.